Good morning, everyone. It's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont, and welcome to another day in the life. Today is Wednesday. I am on my way to work, which is always a joy. I was able to stop and get a coffee, so I get the largest coffee possible. I, as I've been seeing the, the wellness coaches, I don't know if I've talked about them a lot, but I see Lindsay tomorrow, who's my nutrition wellness coach, and one of the first things we talked about was the amount of sugar that was in my coffees and how much sugar was in like espresso drinks like caramel macchiatos and things like that. I've been trying to be really mindful about how much sugar I put in this bad boy and to do that I've been putting in sugar before I've been putting in coffee to see how much is in there. The goal is to have less coffee than this white bit or I don't know this white bit isn't actually part of the cup but eyeballing it I try and use less coffee that way or less coffee less sugar that way I used to just push the button for about 10 seconds and I was using like a quarter of a cup of sugar. It was ridiculous. But that brings me to like another point I wanna make. I was watching Sarah Ray Vargas, I think it was one of her vlogs recently, where she was talking about how much she loved coffee and how coffee was a part of her day and it was just, it was just an event that would happen in her day that would make her very, very happy. And it just made me realize how much I enjoy my coffee every morning and how I enjoy good coffee and how I was treating myself, like when I was doing a good job working out, I would treat myself to one of my sugary drinks. It like made me, when she was talking, made me go, oh wait, I think I, I have that where, where the coffee is a moment in the day that I just truly enjoy. So I just need to figure out how to do that. And maybe I do splurge and do a sugary drink a week, but I can't do one of those. I don't think I can afford to do like Starbucks or caramel macchiatos every day. So I do have to just be mindful about the sugar I put in this and know that I can have maybe one cheap good one a week. But I can't go overboard. I guess that's what I'm going to do. One a week. And today I did splurge also. Where is it? Um, at the store I got one of these Rex bars, which I really, really love. That's maple and sea salt. Probably is not the best serving size. So one bar is 220 calories. I mean, I bet it was better than picking up a chocolate bar. There are nine grams of fat in it. Anyway, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to let it bother my day. It was a better choice than some of the choices I could have made in that store right then. Well, I'm going to get to work. Yeah, it's a work, out, work day, which means that I will probably be able to get my walk in really, really well. And then hopefully I'll get most of my steps while I'm at work. And I will be able to take a look and find a really, really good cardio exercise. My other wellness coach, Andrew, a couple of weeks ago when I was like, all right, so I've been doing 15 minute workouts and pump, pumping them up to a half hour workout. And then I'd like to do up to 45 minutes and just talking about how I wanted to increase that. And he had mentioned it's quality over quantity. So if you're just doing it to do it and not really putting in the effort, then you're probably not getting out of it what you could. Like yesterday when I was like, I just don't want to work out. And I, I did get to the point where I was just doing it to get the steps. That is not as productive as if I could have just gotten my steps in another way and then done a really hard my phone got full. I think that's why I work at, at work days are just, I like them because I can get my steps in, I can walk, I feel like I'm productive, and then I can work really, really hard for about 30 to 40 minutes and get in that cardio that I, I need. But when I have to do two hours of that, I cannot wait for a spring. It's gonna be so nice to be able to walk outside on the regular. Walking, walking, walking. So I feel like I'm working really hard to get my steps today because I am so don't want to do a lot of workouts tonight. So far, I took two, two loops around the inside of the building. One time was like an accident because I went to find a room that had a phone in order for me to make a phone call and every room was full. So I just kind of like went down, made a loop, went back around and eventually found one that was open. That got me in quite a few steps. And then when I finished that meeting where I needed the phone, I just did the loop again, took like, over like a five minute walk. I mean, it would have taken me five minutes to get back to my desk from where I was anyway, I'm trying to be mindful. Right now I am outside. It is a little bit warmer than I think the last time you saw me, although it is starting to spit rain. 
it's almost 40, which is part of the reason I was like, I can go outside, I can walk. That's what I want to do. The one thing I haven't done with this walk outside is track it. So today I actually turned on Map My Run. You, I think you can be my friend on there if you want to go find me. Map My Run and it actually tracks the distance and how long it takes me to do this. It'll be interesting to see what two loops is. I'm hoping it's at least a mile, if not more. We'll see, so a little update. So two loops around the building is just over a mile and I have 7,000 steps. So I only have 4,000 left, which is very good because it's only 1215. I'm pretty sure yesterday at 1215 I had like 1500 steps. So there is a drastic change between working at home and working at work when it comes to my ability to get steps in without having to try extra hard. Good. Good evening, everyone. I meant to tell you what I got after that walk, but right now I'm at 9,557 steps and I have not even worked out. And Kensley and I have to go out, so I'm gonna get 11,000 steps again before I even work out. But that just means, I think I did this on Monday, that just means I can really focus on the workout and what I'm doing. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely looking, well, I've kind of decided. I know I'm going to do a team body project cardio workout, but I just don't know which one yet. I'm quite excited. I did start a trainee program. Um, with their free program, you get one week of one of their programs plus their well, I guess it's, I don't know, you get a couple weeks free throughout the whole thing when you sign up for free for Team Body Project, and I started the trainee program, so I might do the next one in that, but we will see, but that's a good day. Tomorrow is a, an appointment with my wellness coach, Lindsay. I'm very interested to see if I've lost any weight. The one thing that I do with Lindsay that I don't do with Andrew is measurement so with Lindsay I actually measure my waist the last time I saw her there I saw her let's see the first time we measured my waist was the uh, end of November so right after Thanksgiving and then we measured it again right after Christmas and there was no change but I did meet with Andrew shortly after that and I had ended up losing like two pounds. I'm hoping that tomorrow is good. It's been about two weeks since I've weighed in and we've not done the measurements. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes, we'll see. So I just wanna show you kind of like what I'm working with. My mom sent us home with an entire plate of cookies. Look at this. Cookies, is, these are good cookies. These are definitely cookies that I eat one. I can eat them all. So sad. Plus there's a devil dog in here and chocolate. Oh my goodness. This bag is going to get me in trouble. So I spent my evening eating poorly. And it is now 10.30 at night and I still have not managed to get my steps in. And... I think when I left work, I had 12,000 left. So I just have not gotten a lot since I've been home. Kenzie and I even went for a ride. We just never got out of the car. Anyway, I'm not eating any more cookies. I'm not eating any more devil dogs. I'm not eating any more chips. I'm working out. I'm working out. I'm working out. I'm getting my steps in. I've decided to do the team body project, the walking exercise that they have as part of their real start week one program i'll link these things down in the description eventually i guess i'll stop telling you no i guess i'll keep telling that's what are we doing right now we're on a weight loss journey so i'm gonna fill you guys in on everything that's happening even if i'm doing it poorly the one thing i am worried about right now is the fact that it is 10 30 at night and that will mean i will be up for a long time i have a fitbit if you didn't know i have a fitbit and my Fitbit tells me when I exercise and tracks my steps, but also lets me know how well I sleep. And there have been some terrible sleeps lately. Like one in the morning I've been going to bed, midnight I've been going to bed, waking up at 5 a.m., being a fully productive person throughout the day. But I think the, the sleep issue that I've been having, which I don't know, I didn't realize it was an issue until I actually looked at the sleep patterns and I was like, Three hours of sleep is just not enough. 
And it doesn't happen multiple days in a row, but I'm not getting eight hours a day, except for maybe one day a week, which is usually a Saturday or a Sunday. So maybe if I get up early, I work out, I'll get myself tired, and then I'll want to go to bed earlier instead of getting all these endorphins right at the end of the day, I think that's what they're called, um, from working out. <sighs> Give this video a like if you're interested in seeing that. Now that I've said it to you, I have to be accountable. I'm going to write it in my journal. If you guys did not see my New Year's Welcome to 2020 video, go check it out. I have a journal that I've been writing a bunch of stuff in. I've been doing research for some upcoming videos on this channel. Never thought I'd be somebody who would be doing research for YouTube videos, but here I am, and it feels really good. I now know a lot of information about PCOS, what I have about diet, about exercise, about the world that I guess I never thought I needed to know, but now I know. So I would love this. Journal. I'm totally procrastinating on working out. I am going to put on, I'm watching Almost Family, which is on Fox. I really like it. There's a girl in it. I think for some reason I feel like her name is Brittany Snow, but that could be wrong. But she was in a series called American Dreams that I watched when I was in high school. There was two to three seasons milo ventimiglio or whatever the guy from gilmore girls and this is us was in it she's in this new show and i like it so i'm watching it i think i'm gonna turn on the workout watch this get through it and get my steps I've got 500 left and this is not how i'm gonna get it except for maybe those 10 that i just got so let's get started. exercise done now i'm eating a bag of chips Food's definitely the issue on this journey. They're just so good. I feel like the salt cravings I have right now are 100% due to my period. So, I'm going to satisfy them. And tomorrow will be a better day. I'm going to have real food tomorrow. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. We'll be here tomorrow. See you guys later.